If you want a nature wallpaper for macOS Monterey, then this video is for you. In June, my friends and I excitedly sat down for Apple's macOS announcement. And after hours of waiting for the new wallpaper, we were betrayed. Is there no wallpaper? Just like that, Apple chose to break an eight year tradition of nature wallpapers by giving us squiggly lines. Are you kidding me? I might have overreacted a little bit, but a burning drive grew within me to make things right. So that's exactly what I did. People might say it's not a big deal, right? It's just a wallpaper, but like it's a lot more than that. It's a tradition. And they've been it's doing a tradition. it. And it's about seeing something through that they said that they were going to do. Exactly. Everybody always says, oh, you guys are such Apple fanboys. You guys love Apple too much. But that's changed. This is a David and Goliath story. And we're gonna show them that three guys can take on their two trillion dollar empire. Yeah. Let's go get this wallpaper! <laughs> Like my dad always said, if you want something done right, do it yourself. So we were going to create a nature wallpaper of Monterey for the world to download. But here was the problem. So we're pretty sure the abstract wallpaper is supposed to represent Monterey Canyon, but that's impossible to photograph because it's deep underwater where there's no light. Apple did not make it easy for us. So capturing a real life version of Apple's abstract wallpaper was off the table, which meant we had to find our own landscape. But that came with another set of problems. This might just be focusing on like the more abstract part of Monterey. Cause I mean, think about it. If you look at Monterey from a wide angle perspective, it's houses. In all my journeys for Apple wallpapers, we had never been in a place so urban. Every macOS wallpaper is iconic, and this wouldn't be possible if Apple didn't venture out into the middle of nowhere to find the most breathtaking and secluded landscapes in California. We've had to hike for days across a barren island to find the right composition. But in Monterey, we were in the middle of a city. And just when we thought things couldn't get any worse, Apple blindsided us. I just logged on Twitter and it says October 18th Apple special event is official. Fuck! We have a week. The Apple just heard we're on the trip and they're just like, yeah, let's give them a time crunch. <laughs> Until now, no one knew when macOS Monterey would be released, but based on last year's launch, we estimated we had about a month to find a wallpaper. But Apple announcing their October event meant macOS Monterey would be released in one week. But we didn't let this news bring us down. We gotta get the wallpaper for the people! <laughs> we gotta get it done! We were doing this for all the people on release day who'd be expecting a fresh new nature wallpaper with the Monterey update, and we were going to get it done. I just saw a wave come over the closest dune to yeah, us. We'll be fine. I just say it. Oh God, oh God. There's a lifeguard yelling at me to get off the beach. Does he see that I have goggles on? He seems really angry. I don't think Apple would use this shot. Yeah, there's just too many houses. I'm not feeling Point Lobos. It just doesn't look that good right here. Day one's off to a rough start. They didn't make it easy for us. It's not much nature in Monterey. Day two of searching for the macOS Monterey wallpaper. I brought a prop to explain my thoughts on an unnamed tech company. I kinda wanted that apple. Made it to the top of this hill. It was really steep and there's no wallpaper in sight yet. <laughs> but we're on the hunt. I can smell one. We're closing in on one. Right, right Taylor? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good decision climbing the street. See any wallpapers? Oh, it's so windy! I can't do anything! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, after being here for two days, I'm kind of starting to realize why Apple didn't make a nature wallpaper. Like, it's really difficult. So, turns out finding your own wallpaper is a lot harder than copying someone else's. But we had a National Geographic photographer on the team. Yeah, that's right, folks. When Taylor isn't goofing off with us, he's traveling around the world filming wildlife for National Geographic. Why he still hangs out with us is unclear. And what Taylor really specializes in is landscape photography, which usually just means he's dragging our asses out of bed at the butt crack of dawn to photograph a sunrise. Time to wake up. What? Taylor brought up a good point. Apple chooses the most recognizable landscapes that coincide with each name. We were trying to make the most unique wallpaper when really we should be making the most recognizable wallpaper. And there is one iconic view that everyone would recognize as Monterey. I'm getting pretty excited right now. I know, it's right? Cooking, it's cooking something up right now. That looks pretty good. That does look good. Yeah, this is the spot here. 
This is perfect. This is the spot that I want to spend the next 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so finally we had our wallpaper, but there's one thing I forgot to mention. For the past three years, Apple released dynamic wallpapers, meaning the wallpapers change according to the time of day. So if Apple makes them, we were going to as well. All that meant was we had to stay in the exact same spot all day while our camera snapped photos. It's five in the morning and we are about to start our 24 hours here to get this dynamic wallpaper. This sounds like a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> we set up two time lapses taking photos all day since we weren't sure which angle would make a better wallpaper. And we're rolling 24 hours. It smells like skunk. 24 hours in skunk. We spent a lot of time that day reminiscing on all the fun memories we had while recreating Apple's wallpapers. Memories that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. It's been such an incredible journey following Apple's footsteps, and while we're disappointed to see things change, it's important to not forget why Apple picked the California series in the first place. We want a set of names that are gonna carry us for at least the next 10 years. The answer really was really obvious to us. It's those places that inspire us here in California. Apple wanted its users to appreciate the beauty and inspiration off the screen and away from tech. It's almost like they were telling people to go out and get lost once in a while. While I was originally mad at Apple for not releasing a nature wallpaper, it ultimately opened up the door for me and my best friends to create something of our own. Something original. So, thank you Apple. So we've almost died in the sand dunes of the Mojave. We've flown 5,000 feet over Big Sur, and now we've been here since 5 a.m. Capture wallpapers for you guys, so please consider subscribing to the channel. Before showing you the final wallpaper, if you'd like to download it, it's up for free on my website, venture.com, which is powered by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build beautiful websites and run online stores. I use it to create a behind-the-scenes article for this trip using their blog templates. They're elegant, professional, and super easy to use. So if you're ever looking to build a website, consider a free trial at squarespace.com. And when you like it, go to squarespace.com slash Andrew Levitt to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And now the moment you have all been waiting for. Here is the official macOS Monterey nature wallpaper.